I woke up at five in the morning and then I looked out the window and I said, it's way too dark outside. I texted my sister and I said, I'm going back to sleep. Both supposed to wake up at five in the morning. She said, mm -mm, and I said, mm -mm. and so I woke up at 730, which is earlier than expected, but later than I wanted to. Usually I keep three notebooks on my desk and I said, I don't want to do that anymore. So I'm going to copy everything I have from this notebook, the one that's completed into this third notebook that's empty. And then I'm going to fill up this notebook, the second one. And once I fill this one up, I'm going to copy that into this notebook. So I have one comprehensive notebook of all of my notes that I've taken. Next thing, I said I wanted to do two projects each month. In January, I only completed one project. So in February, I need to do three. I already have the first one, which is, y'all remember when TikTok shut down? This project is called TikTok shut down for 12 hours. That's the title of the project. That's the title of the webpage. And then I want to work on like a little iterate, iter, 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 an iterable game little project thing. So I can work a lot with the JavaScript DOM because I feel like I have been avoiding that. And then the third thing, I had a third website. Oh yeah, I want to make a book club website because me and my besties, we started a book club. Well, we had a book club, but then we canceled the book club because one of our books was just so bad that we had to cancel the book club because it was just so bad. But we restarted it this year and I want to make a book club website for us. And I, I have so many ideas, I have so many ideas, it's gonna be so cool. So I don't want to say anything because my friends watch my videos and I don't want to tell them. I don't want, I don't want y'all to know what features I have planned, okay? I might do another third project because I feel like the book club one is a little too ambitious. So I have all these ideas here, don't steal them. Oh my God, you will not believe what I found out. No one has ever found this program before in their lives. No one, no one, ever, no one ever talks about this program. It's a little something called Figma. I don't think anybody's heard of it. I discovered it all on my own. Definitely was not putting off, definitely was not avoiding it and definitely did not spend $15 on a subscription last night. I was having so much fun. Why didn't nobody tell me how much fun Figma was? What is wrong with you guys? You wanna see what I've created? <laughs> you wanna see what I've created? I've created four projects already. First one, this is the design I'm gonna work on today. This is my first design, okay? It's a little basic, I did it. I was still trying to figure out where everything, how everything worked, but this, oh. Okay, the second one is a book club website. And so this is my initial design. This is all I had working on paper. And I know I wanted to make like a home screen kind of thing. And so this is this is all I got right now. And then this was my third design. I think this one was, is the most thought out one. Before y'all say anything, a to-do list, where is the originality? Where's the creativity? How do you expect to get hired from a fucking to-do list? Can you let me breathe? Can you let me breathe? I have not made one yet. I need to make one. It's a rite of passage. Everybody needs to make a to-do list. Final one. I did this one this morning from 9 to 10.30 because I w Dude, Figma's so much fun. Why didn't no one tell me? I feel like I broke the sound barrier on that one. I'm sorry. This is the most recent one. The game is called Marauders Incremental or something like that. Moi- it, you, It's like you almost spell moist, which- Actually, that's not even how you spell moist. It's a little game just to practice like my knowledge on JavaScript and JavaScript DOM. And that's what it looks like. You have four little tabs and you have all this progress. And then you have like these buttons and then you blah, 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 blah. And then you blah, 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 blah. Yesterday, I picked out everything that I need to create my new project. And so I will be working on that today. And I also will be watching a couple, one, two, three, four, five. I'll be watching six videos or less about cookies versus local storage versus session storage because what is the difference i could not tell you right now okay i'll see you later bye hey everybody it's 11 30 and i have been working on this stupid project all day i took some notes like i said about cookies and session storage and local storage so now i know the difference don't ask me but i know the difference theoretically and then i started working on a project and then i did something really stupid and i was like i think this cool little thing is gonna work mm -mm. it did not work it did not work and worst of all i spent I, I i wasted three hours trying to make it work and i i just could not make it work i don't think i'm at that level yet theoretically it makes sense practically i can't do it so yesterday's project session stressed me out so bad that genuinely i felt like i needed to step back i'll see you on monday first thing we're doing monday is that react thing 
we're learning react we're, we're doing it we're doing it and then we all, i also kind of want to play around with figma some more because that shit's fun as fuck why didn't no one tell me that was fun again i'll see you on monday i think you're too tall okay ah! this is the new tripod give me a second i'm going out today and this is my outfit Am I not giving or what? Anyway. I wrote down the goals for the week in my Muji 2025 planner that I got in Japan. I want to watch two React videos. I can for sure watch one of them today. I'm going to do that today. Like if I don't do that today, I literally need to like pass away or something. The other thing I want to do is I want to finish the current project I'm working on because I worked on it all last week and it stressed me out so bad. But I'm basically done. I was just doing like user testing and I was like seeing what little kinks I can work out. So I'll see you later. I'll see you after I go do my grocery shopping because that's, that's where I'm going. I have two hours and 15 minutes of this React crash course. And I'm feeling like we can finish it today. And then tomorrow, we watch the other one. Maybe. I don't know yet. Last night, Wednesday, I finished my second React tutorial from Traversy Media. And I fuck with that guy so hard. I love watching his tutorials. It was technically like a crash course, but his crash course was like three hours long so today like two hours ago i started my third react tutorial which is four hours and 43 minutes long and i am 40 minutes in i i started three hours ago yes but i took a nap in between when i started and right now um because i was really i was literally falling asleep at my desk i don't know why i'm so sleepy that's the update tomorrow I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, my forehead look huge. <gasps> I'm like pulling on my hair back. Let's not do that again. I don't know if y'all care, and even if you don't, I'm still gonna say it anyway. Tomorrow starts a new week, and my goal for that week is to finish the four-hour tutorial that I started on React. And... I do have a 15 hour tutorial. I still do not feel confident in React at all. I feel like I don't get it. I feel like it's it's so simple and yet I feel like I don't get it. So I am gonna have to watch that 15 hour one, which sucks, but finish the four hour tutorial and hopefully get at least five hours into the 15 hour one. That's all I can hope for. My second goal this week was design three websites and um, draft the designs on Figma. So here are my designs. This is my design. These are my design. I think, I don't know if this is a little presumptuous of me, but I think I'm really creative. <laughs> and also I was thinking about this earlier. I was like, my website names are really funny. But I think I'm the only person who thinks that they're funny. This website that I'm that I'm most excited for is called Girls at Work. It was gonna be called Corporate Baddies, but if I want to put it on like my portfolio, I don't. I I think that wasn't. I I like Girls at Work. Girls at Work with like the at symbol. This is my first design. This is dedicated to my sister because she inspired me, and this is basically for her, and that's why I 
really gravitate towards this project because it feels very personal to me. Second design. I know I, I've already made a portfolio, but do I feel like that really accentuates my personality and my interests? No. And so I made a new portfolio design and this one, I made it all in my head. And so because of that, I feel like it doesn't look as good as the one I currently have, but this one is pretty cool. I ideally in my head, it looks cool. And then my third design, which I've been wanting to do for a while, is this itinerary. It's just a website. It's a static web, web page just to practice with React. And th I should be doing this one first, ideally. But everybody knows I'm going to hop straight into this one. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to bed. I deserve it. Yeah, whatever. Good night. I'm doing the math. And by the math, I mean I'm putting everything into my Google Calendar, which helps me stay in check. And the math is telling me I'm going to have to wake up at 7 in the morning every single day for this week. I don't like the math that I'm looking at. Well, see you at 7, I guess. We're going to have a very busy week. So if you see me in the exact same outfit for at least three videos just know that it's because i had to film them all this week or else my schedule wouldn't allow for it i have one more react video left today not today i have one more video one what i have one more react video left which is 15 hours and then i just need to you know write down some notes on how react works and then i'm pretty sure i can just start coding shit so I'm focusing this week on finishing that video. And once I do, this video was, will be over, hopefully. This is me checking in. I've officially finished the first section out of six, plus a bonus. I have the hiccups for some reason. I'm two hours and 18 minutes into the video and I need to go finish doing my laundry and then I'm gonna come back. Guys, I'm going to be so honest, I just I woke up and I did not do all five hours. I completed three hours and 22 minutes. I didn't even make it through two entire sections. It is 12 p.m. and I just finished section two, which means I'm two out of seven sections in. Yeehaw. And I'm going to finish section three of six because I got I was super busy yesterday and I had a really big sidetrack moment. And so I only did three hours and I have two hours left. And I also have to do five more hours today. <laughs> I haven't even done anything else all week. I stopped the video at nine hours, eight hours and 45 minutes. And so I'm nine hours into a 16 hour tutorial. Um, It's Monday. I'm 10 hours in. I have six I have six hours left because it's 15 hours and 40 minutes. So I have six hours left. And I just got to section four. I don't think I can finish it today, but I can definitely get through section four and potentially half of section five. You guys, <laughs> I'm free. I finally finished the stupid 16, 15 hour and 40 minute tutorial. I'm done. I'm done. And so this video is basically done. So I'll see you. I'll see you in the wrap up. Hi divas, how we doing? We're finally at the end of the video. Thank God. Thank God. I've been filming for like a month and a half, probably. I don't remember. I'm not sure if I did anything else other than react. I'm finally free from the chains of react. I definitely do feel like I've learned a lot. That video was insanely helpful, but I'm a little scared. Ah, I'm scared to start coding on my own with react. I also don't even know how to deploy with react. So I'm going to have to do a little research on that because I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Second thing. I think I'm gonna take a little break from these episodes because I really want to focus on projects. So you're gonna be getting a lot of projects, but you're not gonna be getting these episodic, episodic, 
videos format things. This will take a break until I am ready to start interviewing. So the next time you see me on this specific playlist, this specific format, I will be redoing my LinkedIn and my resume and I'll, I'll be doing headshots and I'll be practicing for interviews and I'll be applying. So that's hopefully the next time you see me and that's hopefully kind of soon. Who knew? Who knew I would get to this point? Not me. What if I start crying right now? You know, the other day I had a dream. I had a job. I had a dream. I got an internship and half of me was like really excited and the other half was like panicking because I didn't know how to get to my job. But that's why it was a dream because I didn't know where it was. And I was like, how did I get how did I accept the position? I don't even know where I'm working. I have to go. I have to go. It was a long run. This is my updated road map. This is what it looks like. And I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll see you at some point in the next three to four months in this specific format. I will be seeing you weekly. Rest assured, you will see me weekly. But I'll see you next time. Ah! Bye.